Now, two of soccer's largest governing bodies, including FIFA, have suspended all Russian clubs and national teams from competitions. This is one of several moves by a number of sports groups in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. CTV's Angie Seff is, that, is on that story for us this morning. Angie, what more can you tell us? Good morning to you, Marcia. So as you saw there, more major response from the sports world. As you mentioned, a huge blow by both the Bureau of FIFA Council and the Executive Committee of, of UEFA. This coming from ongoing pressure we're seeing from world leaders, athletes, fans, the general public, as well to stand up against Russia's actions. So this latest move, it means that all Russian national teams and clubs will be suspended from participation in both FIFA and UEFA competitions. Until further notice, it also means Russia will not be able to compete in international competitions. Now, the UEFA also ending its sponsorship agreement with energy giant Gazprom. This is this deal was worth $50 million a year for European soccer. St. Petersburg, where Gazprom is located, will also not be hosting the Champions League's final, and it will instead be moved to France. And as we're hearing from experts, the impact of these latest moves are quite big. Russian sports fans are waking up and going, hang on a second. The propaganda we're getting about this invasion of Ukraine may not be actually true because the, the world is saying, hey, you guys are not welcome here. So I think it's a huge important issue. So taking it from the pitch to the ice, the National Hockey League suspending its relations with Russian business partners. In a statement, the NHL writes, we are suspending our relationships with our business partners in Russia, and we are pausing our Russian language social and digital media sites. In addition, we are discontinuing any consideration of Russia as a location for any future competitions involving the NHL. The International Hockey Federation also suspending all Russian and Belarusian national and club teams from competition until further notice. They also withdrew hosting rights of the 2023 World Juniors from Russia, Marcia. Angie, the Paralympics start Friday. So what's happening there? Well, that's a great question. All eyes there. And we are seeing some more measures coming forward. So the International Olympic Committee has been asking all governing bodies to ban all athletes from Russia and Belarus from competition if they do participate, but to do so as neutral athletes, so uh, athletes and teams. So no flags, uh, flag symbols, uh, no national symbols, colors or anthems. Regarding the Paralympics, specifically Ukrainian athletes are calling for Russian and Belarusian athletes to be banned from those games. The Canadian Paralympic Committee releasing a statement saying, we believe that Russian and Belarusian athletes should not be allowed to compete at international sporting events, including the Paralympic Winter Games in Beijing. The Canadian Olympic Committee, Marcia, and the Athletes Commission also urging all national sports organizations and those hosting international sporting events in Canada to, uh, to rescind invitations uh, to Russia to prevent them from participating. And we also know that the World Curling Federation has barred Russia from next month's Women's World Championship in British Columbia. Formula One, we know, is having an emergency meeting today. Marcia, again, a hard push for swift reaction from there. And really quickly, we just got some response from Russia uh, from all of this. Marcy, if I could just give you a, a quick briefing here. This is from the Russian uh, deputy prime minister. Uh, he's saying, quote, in reaction to all of this, clearly showed to everyone that the unprecedented restrictions and pressures that are being exerted on us do not break the sports spirit of our athletes. So we're going to continue to follow. Mm. So you, you've got the view from the world of sports. Um, I was just reading that Paramount, from the world of entertainment, yeah. halting the release of The Lost City and Hedgehog 2 in uh, Russia. So again, the isolation from every uh, corner. Thank you for that, Angie.